Hi guys, it's Angela Kim from TheSquishyMonster.com and today I'm bringing you one of my favorite junk food treats from the mall and it's for hot buttered soft fluffy pretzels. Now, even though this is a copycat recipe, I believe, in my opinion, this is so much better. It is so intensely good, and if you read my blog, you know I go to the mall to get junk food and not shop, and that I'm kind of on a high-carb diet, so I so hope you guys give this to try because it is that insanely good. Using a stand mixer will really make your life so much easier, especially utilizing your dough hook, but a lot of you guys wrote me to tell me you don't have one, so I'm going to show you just how easy it is to achieve this with your hand just in a bowl. So in my big bowl here, I have some weighed out unbleached flour. I'm gonna add in some granulated sugar and some fine salt. And I'm gonna give that a quick toss just so I mix all those dry ingredients together. Now, the number one thing to remember is that you don't wanna kill your yeast. So I have some yeast here that I'm going to activate with my warm water, but if it's too hot, it'll kill your yeast. If it's too cold, it won't activate it or bloom it. So I'm gonna pour that in there, and I'm going to give it a help out to begin with, with just a spoon or a spatula, and then the rest of the way, I'm just gonna mix it with my hands, and you wanna mix it until your dough creates a soft, supple, smooth surface. Trust that the dough will eventually come together and I've just used a metal spoon towards the end, the very last bit, just so I can get it all together. And as you can see, it's kind of sticking to itself rather than on the bowl. And when I lift up my spoon, it doesn't coat the back of my spoon so you know that it's ready. The dough is more supple, it's got a smooth appearance, it's not shaggy and it's not as sticky. And so all we have to do now is cover it with plastic and let it rise undisturbed for 30 minutes. Maybe it's just me, but the power of yeast never ceases to amaze me. The look of puffy dough makes me so happy. So this is what the dough looks like after about 30 minutes. And you just want to scoop it out and place it onto a well-greased surface. You can roll out to however long you'd like it. You can do three feet and arm's length. You can make them fat and small and chubby. You can make them long and skinny, kind of resembling the mall pretzels. Really, it's up to you, but you just want to start from the center and roll out. Now you just want to take one end and loop it to the center, and then the other one, the other end, and loop it that way as well and then you can just kind of form your pretzel shape just like that. Once you've shaped your pretzels, you can take each one and carefully submerge it into a baking soda and water bath. And as always, the ingredients are listed below and at thesquishymonster.com. And I'm just gonna blot just a little bit of it on a towel right here. And now I can place it on a well-greased pan and I'm going to salt some of them and leave some of them bare because I want to make cinnamon sugar pretzels for half of them. And now I'm just going to let them kind of rise and poof up and rest for uh, another 15 minutes or 10 or 15 minutes. Here are my pretzels out of the oven and I'm just buttering each hot one. And whatever ones I didn't salt, I'm going to put into some cinnamon sugar. And there you have your cinnamon sugar pretzels.